back out at the beach again today. Uh, if you watched our laps episode, we slayed the perch in beautiful weather. Today, we're not so fortunate on the weather. It's sunny, no rain, no rain, no wind, but uh, we'll make do with what we got. And uh, today, we brought a secret weapon. You ready to catch some fish, Olaf? Some sand crabs in there? Last video I said we were looking for a two pounder. We caught a ton of fish. We didn't quite break the two pound mark. So that's the goal for today. And uh, we're coming up on the spot here. We're gonna start throwing our lines in. Hopefully catch a monster. Stay tuned. So we're starting off today throwing the uh, Berkeley Gulp Sandworm. There's our hook there. And we're just throwing it on a Carolina rig with a slider and a, I think this is a two ounce teardrop sinker with a bead there to keep it from going up on the swivel. Water is nice and warm today, that's always good. Hold on, come here. Oh, we got a fish on, first cast. Trying to get Olaf away from the other dogs and uh, got a bite. Here, why don't you distract yourself with this fish? All right guys, well, there's our first fish on the first cast. It's always a good sign. Not the monster, but at least we know there's some fish around. Let's toss this guy back. There he goes. So all I'm doing with the sandworm is just casting it out in this hole and just slow rolling it back. Slowly along the sandy bottom there. And uh, oh, another bite. Missed him. Missed him that time, but I think there's a lot of fish in this little hole here that stacked up waiting for this waves to bring back the sand crabs. So you know there's some fish around. A bit off the end of our worm. There's a little bit better one. Now, these fish are really stacked up right here. I'm getting a bite on almost every cast. It's a little bit bigger one. There we go. A little bit nicer fish, probably about a pound. Like I said earlier, we're searching for that two pounder today, so we'll toss this guy back. Oh man. Well guys, I'm hoping if we weed through enough of these smaller guys that we find a bigger one. This is like the twin brother, twin sister I should say, to the last fish we caught. Another solid fish, about a pound. Oh, wrong way. There he goes. But uh, yeah, like I got saying, hopefully if we weed through enough of these smaller fish, We'll find that two pounder in here somewhere mixed in. It's basically automatic at this point. At least, at least we're not, these aren't giants, but hey, at least we're getting some fish. I think that's fish number four. Like I said earlier, I think if we weed through enough of these smaller guys, eventually we'll run into a bigger one. All right, guys, it slowed up a little bit on the uh, sandworm. We were getting them at least bit almost every cast for a little bit there, but either the fish moved on or they've wised up. So I'm gonna switch over to the sand crab here. And a couple people were asking me how I hooked them, and that's really all you can do right there. Just right through the back. There we go, there's a fish. Feels like a decent one. Oh, it's a little guy. Another little one here. We're hoping to find his great grandmother. All right. Toss this one back. There it goes. Fish on. This might be our one we're looking for. Uh, I don't think it's a two pounder, but it's a good one. 
I had that sand crab on there and I just left the pole in the holder there. And uh, this guy came by and took it. That's a salt fish. There we go. Not a two pounder, but good sized fish. Probably about a pound and a half or so. Gulped that sand crab. All right. The hunt for the two pounder continues. I know they're out there. Just gotta catch them. Well, uh, where do you think the two pounder is? That way? Or that way? Got in that time. Well guys, another fish here. The hole is still producing, even though not too many big ones. I think this might actually be one of the smallest fish we've got today. Yep, this little guy. But at least there's still fish here. Give this guy a quick release. I think this is fish number eight for the day. Quick release. Alright guys, it's about 10 o'clock now. Uh, we did pretty well right when we first got here. We were getting fish almost every cast. And I uh, kind of slowed up a little bit. But I think this is the tide bottomed out and it's starting to come back in now. And I'm not sure if these fish have moved in with it. But uh, we're starting to get a few more bites. We switched over. We were using the uh, sandworm earlier this morning. And now we're using more sand crabs. And uh, we're starting to get a few more bites. They're starting to hit it right in here. I think it's because the tide's coming back in and the fish are coming back in with it. All right, guys, you know what they say. Big bait catches big fish. Hopefully that's the case right here. You want me to do anything? All right. Isn't that cool. cool? Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that was cool. We just got our picture taken. Basically a celebrity out here. But I'm guessing the main reason why we get our picture taken is because of this stylish beanie that was made for me. So you've probably never seen this on YouTube before from a fishing channel, but I'm gonna shout out a knitting Instagram. It's called Unwind Your Mind. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out if you're into that. I'm not quite sure if any of you guys would be interested in that. I feel like the uh, fishing industry and the knitting industry do not overlap very well, but hey, never know. If you're into that, check them out. It's keeping my head warm and keeping me stylish out here on the beach. All right, guys, new spot to finish out our last 15 minutes or so to fishing. Again, throwing out a big sand crab, hoping that big bait catches some big fish. It's kind of a Hail Mary right here. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for today. Just got our last cast out, and as long as we don't get any bites here, it's going to be a bit of fishing today. We hit that two pounder, but the hunt continues. We'll be back. That's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Got a bite. All right, we're gonna end it on this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.
Alright, Olaf. Time to go home. You look tired.